Hi guys, going to do another junk pile project. I'm actually doing some work on my old PC and before I can do anything it wants to do uh, dozens of updates because I haven't used it for such a long time. So while I'm sitting here waiting for it to do that, oh it's up to update 8 of 16 at the moment, I thought I might do a little conversion to this <laughs> car. It was a gravity powered car I did the other day. I'll put a link in the video description. It's a couple of old vinyl LPs, long playing records, with an axle and a little toothpick in the middle there. hook the rubber band, uh, in this case it wasn't a rubber band, it was the lead weight. But I'm going to do a simple conversion to that to make it into a rubber band powered car. I've got a couple of CDs there that have been used on another car. I've got a barbecue skewer axle and a couple of bottle tops on each wheel as the hubs. I've got a couple of bamboo garden canes there that are about what's that about 20 inches long 18 inches so I'm gonna put them on there and at the other end put a little axle for the for those wheels. There we go, that's the general idea. So it's wrapped around the axle and also wrapped around the cane and then I'll put some hot glue on it to hold it all together. That's the wire loops hot glued onto the end of the flower canes. Down in the kitchen to give it a test run. I'll just run over the details again before we test it. So at the back end, we've got this gravity powered car that I made the other day. So have a look in the video description, there'll be a link to it. It's just a couple of vinyl long playing records with an axle straight through the middle. That's some sort of fiberglass tube actually. It comes from a garden windmill. Just a cheap toy from the bargain store. In the middle, it's got a little toothpick drilled into a little hole there so we can hook the rubber band on. The changes I've made, I've wrapped some wire around the axle to give us axle bearings. Those bits of wire are just hot glued onto the back of these flower canes that come from garden centre. They're about, I would guess, about 20 inches long. At the front end, they're hot glued onto another tube. I think that one's actually plastic. Um, in fact, that might even be a, a felt tip pen tube or something like that. Front wheels are CDs with plastic bottle tops for the hubs in the middle. And the axle is a good old barbecue skewer. There's another barbecue skewer there, just hot glued onto the canes to stop them spreading apart or coming together so that they're free to move at the back there but not too far. And then the rubber band, I've wrapped another bit of wire around the front there in a sort of an S shape so that we can hook the rubber band on it and then it's got some this is actually kite string I've used. Uh, I think it's terraline or nylon or something like that. And that's just the right length to reach back there and hook onto the rough, onto the peg. And we can just wind it up. And as we're winding that up, it's stretching the rubber band. Easy to do this with one hand. You can 
can see the rubber band has been stretched. So what I'll do is I'll go back in my hallway so we can give it a run the full length of the house. As long as we don't hit the doorway on the way through, which is what usually happens. Right, we're actually outside the front door. There's the car. I'll try and line it up so it goes all the way through. See, what usually happens is I hit the door or something on the way through. But let's see how we do. full length of my hallway, kitchen and conservatory. can't quite remember how long that is. I think it's three metres here, five metres there, another four metres out there, eight, about twelve metres altogether. And there's still a little bit of tension left there, so we could have gone a bit further. That rubber band is actually slightly smaller than a size 64, so we could have gone a bit further if we wanted. Anyway, job done.